Corruption has become an imminence in the moment's world. It has agonized the whole world. Man's avarice no way ends the more he gets, the more he's empty. As the countries face political fermentation and insecurity that lead to poverty and the people in these delicate times, also get the loose leadership and add energy to the fire adding to their poverty and plight. Every time the checks around the world are conducted to measure the global corruption indicator around the world. The countries with the bitter position of corruption are facing the worst kind of poverty, political insecurity, profitable downfall, and social corruption. When the country is set up in similar delicate situations, loose leaders lead them amiss and take advantage of their innocence and do plutocrat or other embezzlement. Corruption not only means the costing of and taking others plutocrats immorally, but it also means the neglectfulness and a discharge of one's duties. When's the list of top 10 countries that are most corruption ridden in the world? Before we start, please subscribe the channel and hit like button and share the video. Number 10. Eritrea. It's a veritably ignominious country of which only a many people might have heard. It shares its border with Sudan and is a small and poor country. The GDP of Eritrea is veritably less, about $4 billion only. The blamed labor laws and foreign business programs are overrun with corruption by the leaders to remain in power. The chairman office in Eritrea is suppressive and important, bound to political pressures. The press is full of loose leaders and councils with little political experience. Their main end is just to fill their tummies therefore snatching out of small Eritrea's frugality. Number 9. Libya. Freedom is a term for which the citizens of Libya are pining, they aren't at liberty in their country where business, parcels, frugality and labor all are mandated by one. Libya is an African country constantly facing political fermentation and uneasiness throughout the times. The country's leadership is extremely selfish caring little for people's interest. The country and people aren't satisfied, and there's continued insurrection and demonstrations going on in the country against the government's cathartic programs and programs, and the everyday corruption practices. Number 8. Uzbekistan. This little Central Asian state is filled with corruption. The country has been led by endless leadership since 1980 and has been given lifelong administration. Cotton is the main source of earning foreign exchange, but still the country's huge cotton product is of no use due to infecting high corruption scores. The agrarian yields are enjoyed by the many, and they don't have the people's living system. Foreign investment has declined due to country's numerical corruption. Number 7. Turkmenistan. This country is also a Central Asian country and is also deeply ditched in the pool of corruption. It's the world's seventh most loose nation and has faced numerous fermentation in the history due to participating borders, with countries similar as Afghanistan and Uzbekistan. The government is supermented by an oppressor Gurbanguly Berdimuhamedov, who has been veritably loose as compared to Middle Eastern contender countries. Most countries' wealth has strained into loose hands and averted all impulses for foreign investments. Number 6. Iraq. Iraq is the sixth most loose country in the world and is the ground of the insecurity and political chaos from numerous times, along with the demonstrations, foreign eruptions and lack of professed governmental ministry. Bloodshed and killings are the scenes of every day. There's severance and every governmental department is filled with loose officers and staff. Numerous countries are trying to pull Iraq out of the war-like situation, but it's proving a slippery pitch for them as well. Number 5. South Sudan. South Sudan got its independence in 2011 from the bigger Sudan. 
and it isn't new for the newborn country to be indulged in this kind of unstable fermentation and circumstances. It'll take a long time for South Sudan to stand stability on its basis. The leaders are immature and loose along with the lack of moxie in a governmental script, they also have the lack of nationalism and nationalism for the rest of the nation and indulge in complete corruption making the country loiter helplessly. Number 4. Afghanistan. Another country on the list is Afghanistan that we no longer expect to see on the list. The country is no doubt the one of the most loose and unstable in recent times. A country of ethical people is full of uneasiness and chases throughout time. Profitable and structural development is veritably rare. The corruption practices have made the country numb and has led it to be much more backward than other nations. That we'd anticipate to see on the list, Afghanistan ranks at number 4 regarding corruption. Number 3. Sudan. It's egregious that Sudan is ranked at number 3. The violence, chaos, revolutions, and screams have caused great damage. Along with that unskillful leadership and unstable situations has made it the number third loose country in the world. This corruption and nebulosity have splinted the country into coalitions. Foreign business isn't there, the country doesn't invest internationally nor let others invest, and the leaders eat up what they get, pushing the country to poverty and uneasiness. Two, North Korea. North Korea is suffering from corruption with its loftiest magnitude. The country is militarily veritably hopeless, but on another hand, its people are suffering. The frugality has a black hole effect that gets smelled, and nothing knows where they've gone. The country is corruption-ridden, and the people's plight is delicate to substantiate. Number 1. Somalia. First in the corruption list is Somalia. Somalia has a nominal government having no rule of law. It's a kind of banana democracy with uneasiness and gangsterism. The people survive on fishing. Hijacking is common practice. Somalian rovers are notorious throughout the world for hijacking and kidnapping the vessels of other countries and getting rescue in return. Its internal collapsing structure and weak central control is veritably weak to anticipate any positive change in unborn, 